Aggression is a multifaceted and often misunderstood aspect of human behavior. It manifests in various forms and can be both a constructive force for survival and a destructive influence that hampers societal progress. Here we aim to delve into the intricate layers of aggression, exploring its evolutionary roots, psychological underpinnings, and potential avenues for redirection. Evolutionary Roots of Aggression Aggression, in its most basic form, can be traced back to our evolutionary past. As early humans navigated a hostile environment, aggression played a pivotal role in securing resources, defending territory, and ensuring the survival of the species. The Psychology of Aggression Understanding aggression requires a nuanced examination of the psychological factors at play. Several theories attempt to unravel the complexities, including the frustration aggression, hypothesis, social learning theory, and the biological perspective. Frustration aggression hypothesis. This theory posits that frustration, stemming from the inability to achieve a desired goal, can lead to aggressive behavior. When individuals encounter obstacles hindering their progress, the resulting frustration may find an outlet in aggressive actions. Social learning theory. Proposed by Albert Bandura, this theory emphasizes the role of observation and imitation in the acquisition of aggressive behaviors. People learn from the actions of others, and if they witness aggression being rewarded or justified, they may be more inclined to exhibit similar behavior. Biological perspective. Neurotransmitters, hormones, and genetic predispositions contribute to the biological foundation of aggression. Factors such as serotonin levels and testosterone play significant roles in modulating aggressive tendencies, highlighting the intricate interplay between nature and nurture. Forms of aggression. Aggression is not a monolithic concept. It takes various forms, each with its own set of triggers and consequences. Physical aggression. This involves the use of force, such as hitting, punching, or any form of bodily harm. Verbal aggression. Expressing hostility through words, insults, or threats falls under this category. Cyberbullying is a modern manifestation of verbal aggression. Relational aggression. This form of aggression aims to harm an individual's social relationships, often through manipulation, exclusion, or spreading rumors. Addressing and redirecting aggression. Given the potential harm aggression can cause, it becomes imperative to explore ways to mitigate its negative impact and redirect its energy constructively. Anger management techniques. Developing skills to identify and manage anger is crucial in curbing aggressive behavior. Techniques such as deep breathing, mindfulness, and cognitive restructuring can help individuals gain better control over their emotions. Social and emotional learning, SEL, incorporating cell programs in educational curricula can equip individuals with the necessary skills to navigate interpersonal relationships, fostering empathy and communication over aggression. Conflict resolution strategies. Teaching individuals effective ways to resolve conflicts without resorting to aggression promotes healthier interactions. Mediation and negotiation skills can play a significant role in diffusing tense situations. Cultural and societal influences on aggression. Aggression is not solely an individual phenomenon. It is profoundly influenced by cultural and societal factors. Different societies may vary in their tolerance for aggression, the accepted norms for expressing it, and the consequences associated with aggressive behavior. Societal structures. Economic inequality, political instability, and social injustice can contribute to heightened levels of frustration and aggression within a society. Addressing these structural issues is crucial for creating environments that discourage aggressive tendencies. Aggression and mental health. Aggression is often intertwined with mental health issues. Conditions such as conduct disorder, oppositional defiant disorder, and certain personality disorders may increase the likelihood of aggressive behavior. Recognizing the connection between mental health and aggression is vital for providing appropriate interventions and support. Therapy and counseling. Individuals struggling with aggressive tendencies may benefit from therapeutic interventions. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, anger management programs, and counseling can help individuals explore the root causes of their aggression and develop healthier coping mechanisms. Early intervention. Identifying and addressing aggressive behavior in its early stages, especially in children and adolescents, can prevent the escalation of aggressive tendencies. Early intervention programs that focus on teaching social and emotional skills can be instrumental in shaping positive behavior. The role of education in mitigating aggression. Education plays a pivotal role in shaping attitudes and behaviors. Implementing comprehensive educational programs that focus on emotional intelligence, conflict resolution, and empathy can contribute significantly to reducing aggression. Social and emotional learning, SEL, in schools, introducing cell programs in schools, can foster a positive school climate, enhance interpersonal skills, and provide students with tools to navigate conflicts effectively. Anti-bullying initiatives. Creating and enforcing anti-bullying policies within educational institutions can help curb aggressive behaviors among students. Education on the consequences of bullying and the importance of empathy can contribute to a more inclusive and compassionate school environment. A call for collective responsibility. Addressing aggression requires a collective effort from individuals, communities, educational institutions, and policymakers. By fostering open dialogue, promoting understanding, and implementing evidence-based interventions, 
Society can work towards creating environments that discourage aggression and promote collaboration. Community involvement. Engaging communities in discussions about the impact of aggression and collaborating on initiatives. To address its root causes can create a shared sense of responsibility. Policy measures. Policymakers play a crucial role in implementing legislation that addresses the societal factors contributing to aggression. This may include measures to reduce economic inequality, improve mental health services, and promote conflict resolution. The transformative power of empathy. Empathy stands as a cornerstone in the efforts to mitigate aggression. By fostering an understanding of others' perspectives and emotions, individuals can develop a heightened awareness of the impact of their actions. Encouraging empathy is a core value in education, workplaces, and communities. Can contribute to the creation of environments where aggression is met with understanding rather than retaliation. Empathy education. Integrating empathy education into school curricula can instill the importance of considering others' feelings and experiences. Teaching children and young adults to walk in someone else's shoes fosters compassion and reduces the likelihood of aggressive behavior. Workplace empathy. In professional settings, promoting a culture of empathy can lead to healthier workplace dynamics. Encouraging open communication, active listening, and conflict resolution training can create a positive organizational culture that discourages aggression. Technology and aggression. The advent of technology has introduced new dimensions to aggression, particularly in the form of cyberbullying and online aggression. Understanding the intersection of technology and aggression is essential for crafting effective strategies to address and prevent harm in the digital age. Cyberbullying prevention. Educational institutions and online platforms should implement robust measures to prevent and address cyberbullying. This includes promoting digital literacy, providing resources for reporting and intervention, and fostering a culture of respect in online spaces. Responsible technology use. Encouraging responsible technology use and digital citizenship can contribute to a safer online environment. Teaching individuals to be mindful of the impact of their online interactions can reduce the prevalence of aggressive behavior on digital platforms. Research and innovation. Continued research into the causes and mechanisms of aggression is crucial for developing evidence-based interventions. Interdisciplinary studies that explore the biological, psychological, and social aspects of aggression can inform strategies for prevention and intervention. Neuroscience and aggression. Advancements in neuroscience provide valuable insights into the neural processes underlying aggression. Understanding how the brain regulates aggression can open avenues for targeted interventions and pharmacological treatments. Innovative interventions. Researchers and practitioners should collaborate to develop innovative interventions that address aggression at its roots. This may involve leveraging technology, incorporating virtual reality therapy, or exploring alternative therapeutic modalities. A holistic approach to aggression. By combining individual interventions, cultural shifts, educational initiatives, and technological advancements, society can create a comprehensive framework for mitigating aggression and fostering a more compassionate world. Interdisciplinary research and cooperation can lead to more effective strategies for prevention and intervention. Aggression, a complex and deeply rooted aspect of human behavior, demands our collective attention and commitment to positive change. Through education, empathy, technological responsibility, and ongoing research, we can pave the way for a future where aggression is met with understanding, compassion, and proactive interventions. It is only through a concerted effort, embracing the complexity of aggression, that we can build a more harmonious and interconnected global society. Aggression, with its deep evolutionary roots and intricate psychological dimensions, is a complex aspect of human behavior. While it may have served survival purposes in our ancestral past, the challenges of the modern world demand a more nuanced approach. By understanding the various forms of aggression, addressing its underlying causes, and implementing proactive measures on individual, cultural, and societal levels, we can collectively work towards fostering a more harmonious and empathetic world.